François Severin Marceau Desgraviers French pronunciation FSWA Sev Masso de Gavje the 1st of March 1769 to the 21st of September 1796 was a French general of the revolutionary wars Topic <inaudible> Biography <inaudible> 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 Early life Desgraviers was born at Chartres, Eret Lore. His father served as a legal officer, and Marceau received an education for a legal career, but at the age of 16 he enlisted in the regiment of Savoy Carignan. Whilst on furlough in Paris, Marceau joined in the storming of the Bastille on 14 July 1789 After that event he took his discharge from the regular army and returned to Chartres, but the opposition of his family soon compelled him to seek new military employment. He became a drill instructor and later a captain in the ur et lor Departmental Regiment of the National Guard. In March 1792, Marceau was elected lieutenant colonel of one of the French Revolutionary Army battalions of the ur et lor he took part in the defence of Verdun in 1792, and it was his troop that was ordered to bear the proposals of capitulation to the Prussian camp. The defenders' lack of morale provoked the anger of the revolutionary authorities, and Marceau was fortunate to find re-employment as a captain in the regular service. However, early in 1793, he along with other officers under suspicion were arrested and spent some time in prison. Vendée On his release, Marceau hurried to take part in the defence of Sommer against the Vendéean royalists, distinguishing himself at the Battle of Sommer on 10 June 1793 by rescuing the representative Pierre Burbet from the hands of the insurgents. The National Convention voted him the thanks of the country and he received rapid promotion. His conduct at the Battle of Chantenay on 5 September 1793 won him the provisional rank of General of Brigade. On 17 October, he bore a great part in the victory at the Battle of Cholet, and on began his friendship with Jean-Baptiste Clébert while on the field of battle. Clébert was made a General of Division, and Marceau confirmed as General of Brigade. Marceau in turn became a General de Division on 10 November, then succeeded to the Commander-in-Chief ad interim. With Clébert, he crushed the Vendine rebels at the Battle of Le Mans on 12–13 December and at the Battle of Savonnet on 23 December 1793. <laughs> Love affairs In the wake of Le Mans, Marceau had rescued and protected a young royalist lady, Angelique des Mesliers, with whom it has been supposed Marceau fell in love, however, even his help could not save her from the guillotine. He and Clébert themselves were saved from arrest and execution only by the intervention of Burbet. Around this time Marceau became engaged to Agatha la Pretre de Chateaugorin, but the marriage was prevented by his constant military employment, his broken health and the opposition of both Auguste Félicité la Prester de Chateaugorin and Marceau's devoted half-sister Amira, wife of the Republican politician Antoine Joseph Sargent. <laughs> Battles of 1795–96 After spending the winter of 1793–94 in Paris, Marceau accepted a command in the army under Jean-Baptiste Jordan alongside Clébert and took part in the various battles near Charleroi. During the Battle of Fleurus on 26 June 1794 he had a horse shot from under him. He distinguished himself at Julek, at Aldenhoven and at Koblenz, where he stormed the enemy lines on 23 October. He took part in the 1795–1796 campaign with the armies of the Sambre and Meuse, fighting on the Rhine and the Lann and distinguishing himself alongside Clébert near Neuwied and Sulzbach. <laughs> Death After Jordan and Jean Victor Marie Moreau's Rhine campaign of 1796 ended in defeat, Marceau's men covered Jordan's retreat over the Rhine. Marceau fought in the desperate Battle of Limburg on the Lan River 16 to 19 September 1796. While conducting a successful rear guard action near Altenkirchen on the 19th of September, he received a mortal wound. He died 2 days later in the early morning, aged only 27. 
The Austrians competed with Marceau's own countrymen to honor the dead general. His body was burned and the ashes placed under a pyramid in Koblenz designed by Kleber. They were transferred to the Pantheon in 1889. Marceau was immortalized in Byron's Chilled Herald's Pilgrimage. Elvibi Koblenz, on a rise of gentle ground. There is a small and simple pyramid. Crowning the summit of the verdant mound. Beneath its base are heroes' ashes hid. Our enemies, but let not that forbid. Honor to Marceau, or whose early tomb. Tears, big tears, gushed from the rough soldier's lid. Lamenting and yet envying such a doom. Falling for France, whose rights he battled to resume. Elvi brief, brave, and glorious was his young career. His mourners were two hosts, his friends and foes. And fitly may the stranger lingering here pray for his gallant spirit's bright repose. For he was freedom's champion, one of those the few in number, who had not o'erstepped the charter to chastise which she bestows on such as wield her weapons, he had kept the whiteness of his soul, and thus men o'er him wept. <laughs>